What is going on YouTube? My name is Andy from Little RV Big Life and today I want to talk to you about replacing the injection control pressure sensor in your 2004 to 2007 Ford 6 liter power stroke engine. First off I want to say hello and welcome. If you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button. We release a video just like this every single Monday. Now what I was talking about are injection control pressure sensor. Lately I've had a check engine light. It is P2285 and it is an ICP circuit low voltage alarm. This is a check engine light condition so it will illuminate your check engine light and it can lead to other issues like overfueling, terrible fuel mileage, bad acceleration, and other issues like that. Here's the sensor that we will be using. It is a 4C3Z-9F838-A1X. I will leave a link in the description to find this on Amazon. It was about $100. And we are gonna go ahead and get the hood popped on the truck here so we can get this thing replaced. All right, with the hood popped, what you will need is a 24 millimeter socket with an extension. This is a pretty long extension here and it is a half inch drive. You can use a 3 8 drive if you have one that is big enough for this. So what we're gonna look at here is on the passenger side's valve cover behind the alternator, this sensor is gonna be in there. Now if you have a 2003 to early 2004, it's actually gonna be back underneath the degas bottle, clear back on the high pressure oil pump. I will link a video in the description of a pretty good one that you can watch so you can figure out how to do that if you have one of the earlier models power strokes. The sensor that we are going to be looking for is right here. And how we are going to access that, that extension will actually fit right through this loop back into that sensor. You can see it there. So all we are going to do is just undo the clip, pull that off, put your extension down in there, and go ahead and break it loose. Not a whole lot of torque on there. So once you get that broken loose, you can just kind of take it out by hand. And pull that sensor out. You will see a little bit of oil come out with it because this is sensing the oil pressure from the high pressure oil pump. That's it. If you see some oil, down inside of the connector here, there's a good indication that it might be bad. I don't see that. So this may be our fix and it may not be our fix. So all we are going to do is just put it back in. There is an O-ring down here on the bottom of this. So you do not need to torque this very much and do not put any thread sealant on these threads. Let's kind of tighten it down there a little bit. Pull everything out. Reconnect your connector. That is it. It's a really simple and easy job. A couple minutes to do. Make sure you clear your codes, check and make sure it's not coming back. If it does come back, you may have a bigger issue like your high pressure oil pump. There are some tests that we can go over to do that. If you would like, leave a comment down in the comments below. Let me know if you would like to see those tests. Anyways, for now, my name's Andy and I'll see you in the next video.